Welcome to Post Game Podcast. I'm your host, June. I got my boy B. Foster. Off-season vibes, draft in a week. Subscribe to Bleachers to Speakers. We're going to cover the draft. We're going to cover the Pistons. We're going to cover a bunch of things. Just subscribe to that Bleachers to Speakers channel on YouTube and make sure you uh, hit the uh, alert button so whenever we drop, you'll get a notification. And when you get there, like, share, comment, do what we got to do so we can put help 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 us get in the algorithm you know foster's putting out these uh these dope profile uh player profiles and then we got some good shows that's that's on the channel as well so without further ado foster's going to talk about this next uh nba prospect who are we talking about false all right this is another interesting prospect um his name is jalen Ty- jalen tyson out of cal He's 6'7", 215 pounds, and he's an off-ball specialist. He's ni- He averaged 19 points per game, seven rebounds, three and a half assists, um, one and a half steals, a half a block, 45, and he shot 45% from the field and 36% from three. Um, he uses his power to, to absorb content, contact, and he has ideal measurements uh, for the NBA as a wing at 6'7". He has solid lateral quickness on the perimeter, and he's a he's a vertical athlete. Um, he's a good spot up shooter, and he has off ball capability. Um, he's he's able to cut um, without the basketball. Uh, he's a he has above above average passing skills, and he has a high basketball IQ. As far as his weaknesses, um, a lot of it is uh, playmaking. Um, he's also an average defender. And he tends to commit reckless turnovers. Um, he struggles with his decision making, and he lacks an, expl- an explosive first step. Um, his last weakness is that his offensive game is uh, is reliant on volume shooting in college, and that may not uh, translate to the next level because he may not be given the ability to take a high volume of shots. Um, as far as his uh, fit at the next level, you know I, I like it. You know, he's got. A you know, good size for a wing. Um, he's a, a decent enough outside shooter, a pretty e- efficient scorer, and um, I, I like his ability to play off the ball and and to and to cut. And he has reasonable playmaking abilities, but obviously he would have to clean up the um, his decision making and um, and turnovers. We don't need any. We don't need any more reckless, you know, turnover guys, but. Um, you know, the, the Pistons can definitely use more size and athleticism, and that's something that he would definitely bring bring to the table. You know what I noticed, Foster? Mm-hmm. In, this, in this draft, there's a plethora of wing players. Like everybody's six, 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 seven, and you know, there's like there's not a lot of six, nine, six, ten players. There's not a lot of power forward players. And there's not a lot of centers. It's a lot of either your six seven six six or your guard, one or the other. So, right, right. It's uh, unfortunately for the Pistons, in my opinion, there's some other areas we need to address outside of wings. But you cannot have enough good wings. Like if you have a versatile wing like this one here, or a versatile wing like our Sir Thompson, you can move them around a little bit. But at the same time, man, this is this draft is full of wings once again subscribe to bleachers and speakers foster keeps doing this wonderful job man please check us out follow us do whatever you got to do we'll be dropping material all summer until the pistons uh actually uh have their official tip off in summer i mean in the what is it the fall uh championship was just the other week but we still got a lot of basketball material to bring you to uh get your nba fixed 
Primarily the Pistons, though. I ain't even gonna front. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> <laughs>